The strength of the ruling Tokugawa shogunate is failing with famine and unrest spreading all across the country. The Edo period has lasted in Japan for over 200 years. Will it be able to last for 200 more? To be honest, I have no idea. Get out of here, Cobra. Today, we're going to be playing as the Japanese shogunate. But anyways, let's get right into it. Okie dokie, so as the Japanese shogunate, we are going to do a couple of very interesting plays. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at research. Okay, production, pretty nice. Military, yeah. Society, pretty good. Uh, okay, so I mean, it's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and obviously grab cotton gin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually max out the barracks here in the Kenzai region. Uh, I know, we're building barracks straight away. It's like, Smelter, what are you thinking about? That's a great question. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to politics, laws, and we're going to take a look at peasant levies. This is good because I could barely read, so I like looking at pictures better, you know? So we're going to try and enact the professional army law. Now, the reason why we want to do that, as you can see here, the shogunate opposes this law quite a lot. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and enact it. Now, the reason why we're going to try and enact it is because we are going to radicalize the shogunate and cause a big revolution that we are going to try and win so that we could activate the honorable restoration journal entry when the shogunate are not part of our government. So we're going to go ahead and quickly declare an interest here on Australia and then come over here to Great Britain and start a force recognition play straight away. Now, what that's going to do is it is going to radicalize everyone pretty quickly. Now, as you can see here, the reason why we're going for this play is because Great Britain will always open up the Japanese market straight away, hands down. And what we're going to do is all we have to do is back down. Just like that, boys, we got free trade. And by doing this, we have radicalized the landowners pretty badly, causing them, uh, they, they got a lot of anger. But by doing this, we have activated the honorable restoration. So we will complete this if we defeat the shogun in a revolution or we have them out of government for 10 years. Now, obviously, we got the opening of Japan. So we are going to go ahead and enact that which will also decrease the political strength of the shogunate by 75% and their popularity by 100% as well and man it just gets better than that and what we're going to do is alrighty so what we're going to do now is come over here to development we're going to get rid of our entire military all right get say goodbye to everyone now don't get rid of the military except for the kanzai region so we're going to go ahead lower down chubu oh she that's annoying i just ruined that uh get rid of them all oh. Ah, oh, absolutely magnifique. Is it not, lads? Is it not? I mean, they have about four people. I don't know. They're probably going to start stacking up a little bit more. I mean, we're pretty decent all along here. I mean, it's good to know that we got everything still running. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually... See, we're still building a lot of our construction sectors. And we're going to go ahead and actually max out our logging camps in uh, Chigoku as well. Just so then we can build our GDP up, etc. Um, while we're actually fighting these lads. So, actually, I'm probably going to go ahead and send my military over here just so they don't, um... Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. Yes, we'll be able to push. Wait, they're not moving behind, are they? Wait, where do they go? <laughs> what? <laughs> they just disappeared. Oh, yes. There we go, boys. Very easy. See, you can just do the Medvi restoration just like that. I'm not kidding. It's it's really that simple and easy. I mean, I'm going to go ahead, increase the taxes. And just like that, boys, we have managed to defeat the Japanese aristocratic revolt. And we now have the Ninko restoration. Here we go. The Ninko restoration. The Shogunin has fallen from power and Shogun Ninko has restored the political primacy of the monarchy. This momentous occasion marks the end of centuries of Shogunate rule in Japanese in Japan Shogunate and heralds of a new era of modernization and reform. The Shogun must choose his political allies carefully. Alright, so we can take a look at the intellectuals or we can go industrial. Now, obviously we are going to go ahead and do industrial which is now going to give us a set of new journal entries. As you can see here, restoration of industrializing Japan Pam, hiring the samurai, and we have end Sakoku by basically getting rid of isolationism and all that stuff. So obviously, we will complete all of these once we obviously get rid of isolationism and we are not a subject to anyone. So basically, just like that, lads, we're done. Like, it's yeah, crazy. So I mean, yeah, now that we're done all that, I think we can now actually start focusing on everything a little bit fun, uh, easy. Students of the Blade, as the special privilege of the samurai class diminishes, their special right to carry swords as a status symbol has been called into question. To take a samurai sword would be to tear at his soul. Um, it is time for this right to be abolished. Yes, all right.
right, well, obviously it's now time to do that. And now we're also gonna go ahead and, uh, can I not? Uh, okay, well, I was gonna see if I can activate corn laws, but I, yeah, oh no, we don't even have corn laws. Oh, okay, sweet, that's dope. All right, so I mean, yeah, there's actually quite a lot to focus on. Um, so I mean, even though we are going to switch back down to wooden buildings, uh, so that should be pretty fine, um, for now, at least anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch over to sawmills, and I'm also gonna go ahead and actually start to import tools, wherever the heck they are. Import tools, please. Thank you. I guess I'll take them from the British and the Qing market. That will help me out quite a lot. All right, we also have a uh, legitimate government reform. The government, obviously, we're going to do everyone that's not <laughs> the landowners. Um, and yeah, obviously, we're going to go ahead and try and grab professional army because we do want to rebuild our military as well. And just like that, we also have the beautiful red. Now, obviously, we do want to end up colonizing Hokkaido and Sakhalin whenever we do get the opportunity. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and build a couple of tooling, about three or three or about three to four uh, tooling, uh, tooling workshops in Kansai, and we'll go ahead to build quite a lot of um, iron mines. Uh, which way the wind blows? I recently published articles debated where Japan's future lies at the end of Sokoku, weighing the benefits of aligning with other Asian countries or turning to the United States and the European powers. Japan must leave Asia behind and look to the Western powers. Ooh, very interesting. Ooh, okay, the future is uncertain. We must be prepared for it. We will stand with our neighbor nations. Ooh, which way does it blow? Uh, our relations with the United States improves by 30. See, that's good. I mean, I'm just going to take the plus 10% influence, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's not really all that much. I mean, uh, the United States is disinterested in us anyway. They're too busy, you know, trying to fight Mexico and <laughs> battling on the frontiers, you know. Oh, this, of course, the emperor will intervene. Cotton gin, wonderful. We're going to go ahead and grab laves finally. So, I mean, yeah, other than that, just using all of this to... Okay, apparently that was strange. Uh, can I put a consumption tax on other things? Decisions. Oh, adopt state Shinto. With the restoration of Imperial House to political power, it would be wise to integrate the local beliefs into an official state, uh, emphasizing the uh, emperor's divinity. Uh, what does this do? Uh, Buddhist monks to marginalize monarchy. 20% Oh wait. Oh, we're Mahi Ma Mahayana. Okay, well, I think we could, yeah, adopt the state Shinto. Why the heck not? So, yeah, we, uh, uh, I mean, I'm hoping everyone's adopt. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, so that's a very unique uh, decision. I didn't even see that up until just clicking on it. And, uh, okay, I mean, I think we might not be able to do professional army too much. I'm going to do this. Chuck it. Okay, even though we, uh, we uh, what are we? An absolute, we're an absolute absolute empire. That seems about right. <laughs> okay. All right, our GDP still aids worldwide. Okay, we do. We definitely want to be able to catch up to the United States and Austria. We have definitely surpassed um, the wonderful Ottoman Empire. Uh, okay, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and stop trying to enact the um, uh, professional army. I'm going to see if we can try and go for racial segregation. Obviously, we don't want to trigger another revolution, of course. All right, I mean, we've got about 21 to 28 months as well. I don't want to stack up too much interest just in case. And we got dedicated police force. Beautiful. We're actually going to go ahead and enact level two um, dedicated police force. And I think we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and open up our borders. So, but we're going to do migration controls. I mean, we got a lot of people anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But who knows, you know, might as well increase the population if we can. Uh, it's all right. It's only city. I know you all want to keep Japan the way how it was, but it just ain't working like that anymore, boys. You know, maybe change the, the routine up a bit. Um, okay, we, I mean, oh, as long as we get to build um, our wonderful uh, <laughs> some industries, we'll do all right. Now, retiring the samurai. Now, obviously, I'm just going to have to build barracks to do that. Now, industrialization. Um, <coughs> our urban centers need to be level five. What level is our urban center? Okay, it's about level 18. We could uh, go ahead and activate market squares, um, but we don't really have enough coal to actually go ahead and do that. I'm guessing Prussia's now gone ahead. Yep, by like a couple million. That's fine. I mean, hey, we're losing interest. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm trying to lose interest as uh, quick as possible. Uh, wood, however, we're about the fourth highest producer as well, which is actually very, very nice. Foreign competition. People living in the Ryukyu Islands under die condition are afraid that migration controls will increase the competition in the job market. Uh, are you kidding? That failed. Okay, well, we managed to grab mechanicals, which is wonderful. So I think we'll also now go ahead and grab railways, and then I think we'll grab have water to water to boiling and then intensive agriculture and then i think we'll move over to canneries grab mechanized workshops and i think we'll be on a pretty good uh pacing right then in there 
um, to be fair. Now, I'm going to try and grab racial segregation. Um, now, four. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, jeez. Uh, industrialist. Okay, there we go. We got the industrialist in. Beautiful. I'm going to start bolstering the intelligentsia and the industrialist. Okay, well, we don't have enough authority. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate sweeteners uh, for groceries, which will be wonderful and sufficient agriculture. Of course, we'll follow the industrialists' advice. Paddle steamers, wonderful. So I guess we might as well go ahead and build some gun factories. I'm gonna go build four in Kenzai and four in, oh, five in Chubu. So one will focus on artillery, while the other ones will focus on actual normal gun production. So then we'll be able to increase our military for when we want to uh, activate line infantry. Monument to the Emperor, yes, I want to take the prestige buff, actually. All right, you, Uruguay, I uh, can make you into a vassal. Now, that would be great. Army reserves, beautiful. Okay, so I rest for industrializing Japan. We're about 33%. Uh, Sokoku, well, the isolationism is just going to take its time. We fi Okay, we finally got landed voting, man. Oh, it was taking forever to do it. And we actually now have the wonderful flag of Japan. Lovely. Alrighty, so private schools, I think we might have to do. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and probably grab a point. So, we could go for a point of bureaucrats. Uh, cultural exclusion would be alright. Uh, a lot of people were pushing for British investment. Robert Peel, a wealthy and powerful industrialist for Great Britain, sees Japan as a lucrative and untapped market in exchange for various political favors to be redeemed at an unspecified point in time. Robert Peel is willing to share with this industrial technology with his homeland. Oh, yes, for production spread. Yes, sir. Say less. 16 months. Oh, my days, dude. That's going to be brilliant. Okay, apparently we are short on man o wars. Well, obviously, we're going to go ahead, probably start importing some of those. I mean, yeah, our fleet, we've got about two. So I think we might as well now go ahead, declare war on the wonderful people of Uruguay, a land of want. Uh, yes, a free trade party. We want that, okay? We want a lot of people to to do what they want to do. But yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, we're losing still a decent amount of cash. I mean, a lot of it's coming uh, a lot it's from the government administration buildings i mean yeah we do have quite a lot actually god darn it what fucking tarnation is this oh we got a successful naval invasion yes there we go we are finally uh battling the uruguayan people oh man i'd love to see that finally oh my days bro i could you not it's been an absolute nightmare <laughs> Uh, coal, we're still the... F okay, we're now fifth producing, uh, pies producer. Iron, fourth producer. Austria's taken over us. Fair enough. Uh, ah, oh, hardwood. Okay, so I guess we might as well want to go ahead and build some logging camps here in Shikoku. Might as well max it out unequal treaties. This is unrageous. Political treaties. I guess we'll owe another obligation to the wonderful people of America. And here we go. We managed to vassalize Uruguay. Dude, that actually looks pretty cool. The Japanese flag on Uruguay. That actually looks pretty sick. All right. Well, well, well. Hello, the people of La Plata. I have you know that I am in a very, very aggressive mood, and I definitely want you to work underneath me. So, how how is this going to work, y'all? may ask? Well, that's a very good question. It's going to be very simple. La Plata interest activated. Good. We're going to go ahead and turn them into a vassal. All right. Lovely. This is going to be very interesting, actually. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mobilize my boys. Advance the front. Um, okay. Who else? Okay. No, it's just Argentina. I'm hoping Argentina just backs down. Saves me the trouble, I guess. <laughs> and we've managed to vassalize Argentina. You want your independence? No. Oh, beautiful. And we're now actually getting a decent amount of Diplo packs from all these lads as well. So they're now starting to pay for shit that we can't pay for. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, what's our thing right now? Okay, we're at 13.9. Um, the Enders interest activated. What? What? what we end? Oh, oh, we got one there already. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and declare an interest on Indonesia. I'm going to do one on the Pacific Coast. And I think I'm also going to do... Um, might as well do the Baltic, actually. Um, I think that'll be very nice. I see. I think I want to see if I can go for a puppet play on Denmark because that would be pretty nuts. Pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, industrializing Japan. That's almost done. Restoring the samurai. Uh, well, obviously by building barracks. 
barracks is, we're going to be able to get that done. Ending the Sokoku, so we do not have isolation, we don't have traditionalism, and now all we got to do is get rid of closed borders, and that should do us pretty well. Now, what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to go ahead, uh, force, I'm going to do a force recognition play from a uh, good old Russia, and by doing that, we're going to go ahead and actually conquer the state of Alaska, and yeah, that's going to be that just done in there. So, I mean, now that we have our fleet kind of building up, we've got intensive agriculture as well, Mwah. and we're going to come over here to military, and we're going to grab a percussion cap. Okay, there we go. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty easy, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's a pretty easy war if you ask me. It's not too insane or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, we just need to fix up these Gosh darn thingy things. Okay, I mean, our military is... Obviously, we can bring it back up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and go for a professional army. I think, oh, embassy to France. As part of an ambassadorial voyage to the West, our dig uh, dignitaries have met Remy Gloam, a senior French coalition. Uh, oh, we owe Japan owes French has much to teach us. We gain nothing from fan France. Okay, well, I don't know what the plus 50 is because I don't care. I mean, we're increasing. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, a technological spread to us. I mean, hey, it's a freebie. So, I mean, I ain't complaining, boys. I am not complaining. Okay, I mean, so far, lads. Better say, is my thing you're not going down anymore? Ooh, dude, that was close. You know, for people who just have a smaller uh, army and all that stuff. I mean, if they were to keep navally invading, we would definitely be able to. We'll probably have to give out. Um, looks like there's a Chilean Conquer Chilean Arcana. Ooh, okay, actually, maybe a good time to puppet Chile, lads. Maybe a pretty decent time to do that um because that would be great and migration controls yes we have gained the restoration of sakoku beautiful all we're going to do now is industrialize japan and retire the samurai uh we're going to go ahead try and also grab the parliament okay that is got such a high buff man but everybody just ooh. okay we're going to go ahead try abolishing serfdom as well all right boys yeah it's 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 been a good week since i last recorded uh kind of got busy uh hooked up with another video and just other things but we're back and uh i'm not gonna lie yeah it's uh very interesting so the things that i managed to do while uh everyone was gone i managed to puppet good old chili good old marinar kingdom i mean we are surprisingly not uh infamous anymore which is very nice i mean obviously we got alaska as well i also managed to puppet brunei but that's a sense that's really all that i have to be 100 percent honest with y'all uh but you know it is what what it is now uh, i'm gonna go ahead obviously switch over to skirmish infantry on everywhere we have so then obviously when our munitions buildings uh jump on in it will be good to go so i mean i guess while we're doing that i'm gonna go ahead and actually do a enlistment offices in uh kanto and kanzai because they tend to have the highest population uh for us so hopefully we'll be have enough people to go around and have a bit of fun i mean i'm also going to activate the dynamite uh, here hopefully that might get people going i mean i'm kind of hoping so munition plants don't seem to be too much of a problem we just need more people in these gosh darn buildings why is this not increasing i'm, I'm a little bit confused on that one there lads i'm a little bit confused um i, I guess i'm just gonna uh, has not act all of these has not act a building is not uh, yeah, cannon artillery. Oh, my days. Mobile artillery. What is wrong with me? There we go. Cultural exclusion. Beautiful. The fall of the samurai. Japan has succeeded in reforming the armed forces and putting an end to the backward system of feudalism. The samurai warrior class seemingly no longer have a place in our modernizing society. The era of samurai is over. Uh, weekly innovation gained multiplier for five years. I think I will be definitely fine with that. And we now just have the uh, urbanized japan outlook i mean dude we're almost a great power too which is absolutely a dope i mean we're definitely getting up there i mean our good friend scandinavia's kind of rivaling uh with them to become the next great power and we've managed to urbanize japan and we've managed to complete the ninka restoration winds of change kanzai has come a long way since our attention was first brought to it going from a small houses and scattered farmlands to being on its way to become a blooming 
metropolis. A renewed Japan, a reformed army, an open, reorganized country, a new society. Japan stands as an equal among the powers of the world and will perhaps begin to pursue imperial ambitions of her own. The Japanese Empire shall rise. Okay. And uh, we can... Okay, we get a buff for improving and damaging relations. Railways are key to our future. The Japanese... We get claims on Korea. I mean, we might as well take the uh, historical approach. But anyways, lads, thank you everyone so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more Victoria Free content, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.